to get it off. Okay. Now, it should not look like that. That is poorly done. It's exactly, you got a 50-50 chance. Ripped. You got a 50-50 <laughs> chance of doing it right, and you did it wrong. Which is okay, and that's, you're here to learn, and I understand, and I deal with beginners all the time, and that's what you are. <laughs> well, you guys guessed it, we're back with Tom. Very Tom and his positivity. Down, <laughs> yeah. I want you guys to very be kind. Very I want kind. you guys to be good, good at dude. this. I don't want failure, I want success. And the first ingredient to success is doing things correctly from the start. So we're going to do the training wheels first, and then we'll move on. lesson in setting up my rod apparently I suck at life and <clears throat> at least that's what Tom told me but I'm learning when you fish with experienced people you're gonna learn the good thing about Tom he is a uh, pretty intense but the first time I ever floated with Tom I said I want to become a butterfly fisherman so if you see stuff that I do that's dumb or not right tell me he tells me a lot of he stuff. tells you a lot of, he stuff. A lot of stuff he hasn't stopped talking since we got here <laughs> right Tom hey buddy <laughs> Oh, you're wearing your lucky hat today, Lucky hat. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. What are we going to do today? We're going to get after that butterfly hatch on the ranch. <laughs> going to go smoke them. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The science on purple is supposedly it shows up over the lar a, a large diversity of different light conditions. Like, so, you know, I would use black if the water's really murky, but a lot of people say purple works the same because it contrasts. And dry flies, for some reason, fish like purple. I don't know if it's the way they see the color, but who am I to argue with the trout? We just give them what right. they want. I don't know why purple works. Purple works super well. We just know that it does. No, that was a good uh, tech tip with Tom T Pro. Purple. I've always wondered about purple. A lot of times, like especially up here, like throwing like when the salmon flies hatch or the stone flies, these guys will throw these purple chubbies they call them, and they look nothing like a salmon fly, but or anything else. Or anything else. Yeah, they're pretty bizarre but anyways so we were talking about purple and and like purple like uh what are they renegades or purple uh energizers mm -hmm. oh the uh, yeah the duracell duracell so it's all black above but it's purple underneath yeah so that's the part the fish sees is this purple shiny sparkly anyways uh we floated about what a half a mile so far mm -hmm. matt caught one giant it's about that big it's wow. a little bit bigger than his uh, fly he had on so but we're going to almost change Almost everyone's up. caught one, though. Yeah, almost everyone. So we changed some flies up, kind of waiting and watching, seeing if uh can pick any fish up rising. So if we do, we'll go fish them. All right, so Tom, eagle eye here. It's got a, ooh, got a couple really big fish rising right here. And the way that Tom approaches these things is like an experienced bow hunter stalking in. There he is. Oh. Twice in a row. That's a giant head. Yeah, so anyways, he's making me really anxious, so I wish he would shut up, but <laughs> we're, uh, we're gonna catch this fish here in a second. Hold on. There he is, close, very close. Right here. Right here, very close. Did you see him? Yep, I saw him. Okay. Good. Here it is, guys, the infamous. It's not a Tom sandwich. Tom just purchases the sandwich, right? Let's make yeah. that clear. It's from the grub stick. Dion makes a mean sandwich. I'm happy to take credit for it. I mean, I did pick that place to get our sandwich. But yeah, you did. You did put the order in. But it's that spicy mustard she does. What do you think, Matt? Unbelievable. First time experience the grub steak sandwich. Guys, if you come up to Island, Island Park, you got to experience the grub hub sandwich. Because you know what we say, what I say, sandwich always tastes better when somebody else makes it for you. It's pretty much true with any food. Doctrine. Doctrine. Yeah. This is how uh, slow the day has been so far. It's been the highlight. <laughs> There's the Tetons. There's the Tetons out there, if you guys can see them. i tell you one thing, it is one of the most beautiful floats. Look at these clouds. Is there Cumulus Nimbus, right? No. Are they? What are they? 
They're no extra charge, buddy. <laughs> no extra charge for these quads today. Find a prickly hooked up on a freaking oh, yeah. hog. That's a good fish, dude. Swinging streamers. Swinging streamers Casey's all man. sort of excited back here. <laughs> you ripped him right out of the river, didn't you? Oh! oh. Got down. Oh my. Is the fly still there? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. all the potty words in the world. I, we have worked for the last six hours for that fish. What did I do? Good. That was the biggest fish. That was positive. positive. It wasn't positive it was because positive. I didn't get to see it. I saw, I it. saw it. Oh, I saw it. That was I a big it. fish. You know, when you go fishing, sometimes you get the chicken. I don't want to hear your story right now, Tom. Other times you get the feathers. That's so frustrating. You feel like I like horse them too much? You can't horse them too much. Let's take a look at your hook and let's take a look at your string. All right, Matt. Oh, yeah. On board. Keep them coming. Oh, that's a dandy. Great fish, Matt. Lead him over to the bow a little more. Once he comes up, tip over my head. Nice. Matt, yeah. you success. Look at that hook, man. Fine. Look where the lead. hook is. It was funny. I was pulling, and I thought, like, here's your last chance. And I remembered the pause, and I just seriously just stopped stripping. Wham! Just smash it. Dang, nice. Nice. Gosh, look how pretty this fish is. How about it? It's been a long day, but a fish like that kind of makes up for it. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going. Pull him up high. There's a fish. Nice, Matt. Look at that. Matt Davis on the board. Freaking, I watched him crush like, that. I watched him come fish. from 10 feet. And your fly was swimming downstream yep. pretty quick. Yep. That's what made him go. You got him to go. Dang, it's a big fish. Good idea. When we started seeing all those big fish, it was probably a good idea to start fishing for them. It's a big fish, dude. Okay, yeah, <laughs> put the rod down on the bow. Okay, okay. just set it down. Slap the line just a hair. And then just hold him in the water. Just Guys, it that. only takes one or two of those fish to make a day worth it. I say that, but I could go out and catch a bunch of little fish all day and be happy, but we have not caught more than five fish today. That fish right there is worth a hundred fish. Giant. I am freaking shaking. In the water in the net. I watched him out of that bed. Gills go in the water. Yes, sir. That's the zero. That's the 22. 22. 22 on the nose. Let go of him for a sec and we'll see what he does see. here. Mind if I touch him? Not at all. What a fish. He may swim off. He's ready. He kicks, yeah, let him go. brought you with me. Sorry, See Tom, I always give everyone the front of the boat. Yeah. So happy well, you've caught three you? giant why fish I and I you? haven't. See, I give them the front. I'm going to throw that stupid looking such, hat in the water about two seconds. I got the bolero string, I'll have to yank my head off. <laughs> do you have the, the boy tie too? Yeah, hell yeah I do. Me and He's Tom are just going to talk huh? trash yeah. while Matt reels his sweet fish in. Oh, he's just a little guy. Probably only oh, I don't even want that thing. Oh, pretty fish, oh, man. Oof. Pretty darn good. Pretty that was fun. darn good. That was was fun that fun, Matt? That Can you explain it to me? What's it feel like? Work? So what happens is, is when you throw the fly in the water and you do Watch it right, tip. then um, these fish, they eat the fly. But what does it feel like? Like when you actually catch it's a fish and get it dump, 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 and then you're really happy. And then Tom says, good job, man. Good job, and I'm like, Matt. yeah, man. And then we're happy. Fisherman's and... handshake. <laughs> Never That's done it. That, that yeah, was really it's a good one. weird. <laughs> it got awkward. Come here, buddy. Swim. Swim. 
Ready? I think he's ready. Sweet oh, fish, man. I'm really yeah. happy for you. Somebody's well, you, I mean, fish. you almost caught one just a That's second right. ago, so I Dude, figured I've been close. I'd throw off. It's okay to almost catch them. Right? As long as Matt can close the deal, we're happy. Well, at the end of the day, Tom came through, caught a handful of fish, and uh, put them in the net. Tom made me put them back. Jerk. <laughs> Says we just rent the fish. Yep. We just rent the fish. Got to yeah. put them back. Didn't get to take them home and put them on the wall, but fish are friends, not food. These hush guys are just meat hunters. You gotta <laughs> Ruthless try to, barbarians, yeah. just absolute just savages. Just everything. Yeah, they Jerks. kill everything. I caught Casey trying to stick some down his waders. <laughs> Since I wore waders. Another great day on the river with T-Pro, guys. If you want to book a trip, he works at Henry's Fork Outfitters in Island Park. And I would say this is a good time of year to come up here. Hoppers are just starting to go off. Um, a lot of bugs hatching. You probably can't see them. There's a lot of caddis. Some PMDs we saw today. A lot of stuff I can't remember, but they were hatching. So, yeah, get a hold of T Pro. Just call him T Pro because uh, that's really what he likes to go by. And if you couldn't tell, now you can. It's on your license plate.